Hi, I am Shraddha Kadakya, a commercial photographer and founder of Just Click Image Making Company. Today on Shoot It Right, we have a special episode which is on how to capture interesting images for Diwali. Diwali, the festival of light, brings in a wide range of opportunities for photographers. You can shoot macro, shoot long exposure, shoot candid and much more. However, one needs right technique to make good shots considering the conditions and demanding and even dangerous during the festive season. Here are some of my recommendations to come back home this Diwali with a memory card full of beautiful photographs. Planning is important with fireworks and getting to the location early in order to get good unobstructed position is important. Think about what is in the foreground and background of your shots and make sure you won't have people head popping up into your shots. Set the camera on self timer while taking long exposure shots of fireworks. Make sure your camera is mounted on the tripod to prevent any camera shake. You need to have sturdy tripod, not the most expensive, a cheap one will do too depending on your camera and your lens. The tripod must be reasonably weighted. Tripod will come useful during low light conditions and in case of long exposure shots of fireworks. To know more about tripod, do click on the link visible on your screen. A zoom lens would be better to capture fireworks from a distance. This would ensure minimum risk of firecrackers while photographing. If you don't have a lens hood, no need to worry. All you have to do is hold a black chart paper in front of the lens. Switch the lens to manual focus and set a relatively narrow aperture during low light to get properly focused shots. A common question around photographing fireworks display is what aperture to use. Many people think you need a fast lens to get them, but in reality it's quite the opposite as the light that fireworks emit is pretty bright. I find that aperture in the mid to small range tend to work reasonably well and would usually shoot somewhere between f8 to f16. Set the focus to infinity. You are generally far enough away from fireworks that you can adjust the lens focus to infinity and leave it there. If you want to get a close up of a small part of the burst, you may need to adjust the focus and zoom in. If you want to include buildings or people in the background, you may want to bring these into focus. Avoid the use of autofocus if possible. As already noted, most cameras have difficulty adjusting focus in low light conditions. Probably more important to get right than the aperture is shutter speed. Fireworks move and as a result the best photographs of them capture this movement meaning you need a nice long exposure. To get the sharpest image, it is the best that nothing comes in contact with the camera during the exposure. Use the automatic long exposure of 30 seconds or more. You can also use the bulb mode which will keep the shutter open as long as the button is depressed. Shooting at a low ISO is preferable to ensure the cleanest shots possible. Stick to ISO 100 and you should be fine. Here comes a click tip of the day. Wear comfortable non-synthetic clothes. This would ensure they don't catch fire easily. Always have presence of mind when you are shooting and there are people around you who are bursting crackers. A rough firecracker may damage your gear or worse still cause harm to you. If possible, take someone with you to keep a tab on your back. And also have a bottle of water or two handy and a basic first aid kit in case of emergency. Hope this video helped you to understand how to capture interesting and creative firecracker images. 